Okay, so we've been given that let L1 and L2 denote the lines given by this, these vectors respectively. If L3 is a line which is perpendicular to both L1 and L2 and cuts both of them, then which of the following options describe L3? Okay, so we've been given L1 as this and L2 as this, right? Now, since we've been given that L3 is perpendicular to both L1 and L2, we have L3 is equal to L1 cross L2. This will give us the directional vector, directional ratios of our L3. So we'll find the determinant, uh, so we'll find the cross product of L1 and L2 by taking the determinant. And finally, we'll get the uh, directional ratios for L3 as 6i plus 6j minus 6k, so minus 3k cap. Now we need to find, let's say for example that these are the lines L1 and L2 and this is the L3 vector which is perpendicular to them both, alright. Now we need to, the, we need to denote the two points uh, where L3 meets L1 and L2. So we will denote them as shown here. A on L1 in terms of lambda and B on L2 in terms of mu. Right? Now we need to point, find any point on this line. So, uh, we will take a point in terms of both lambda and mu. So, this is a point. These are the points. And we know that the directional ratios of L3 are as given here. So, now we have the directional ratios as well as the general points in terms of lambda and mu. So we can find lambda and mu by equating those. So finally we'll have lambda is equal to 1 by 9 and mu is equal to 2 by 9. So substituting these in a and b we get a is equal to 8 by 9 comma 2 by 9 comma 2 by 9 and b is equal to 4 by 9 comma minus 2 by 9 comma 4 by 9. Now now let's use point a to find uh, L3. So, we can have L3 as, let's take 2 by 9 common here, 2 by 9, So when we take 2 by 9 inside, we'll get A, we'll get the point A, right? And also, let's add the direction, so, so this is the final vector L3 that we get.